All right, this is uh, Noah Husky Hardcore here. Um, for some reason, I just did this video, but uh, I'm talking a little loud, sorry. Um, for some reason, when it published, it only published four minutes of it, so I'm going to try to do this again here. Um, I don't know if the four-minute video is up there. I'm going to try to take it off uh, as soon as I can. Um, but we're going to go over this is my... Uh, week one recap of what I thought about the uh, Broncos Raiders game uh, I kind of jumped around a bit in the last one so maybe uh, this one will be a little bit smoother lost 23 to 20 to Oakland Raiders in week one um, story of the game turnovers um, wasn't really quite the story of the game turnovers hurt I think that we were outplayed by the Raiders especially their front seven and uh, I think we were outcoached by the Raiders. Um, Al Saunders had a good play call, play calling throughout the game. Uh, not to kind of toot my own horn, um, but if you watch my AFC West video, uh, preview, I said I thought Oakland was going to have a pretty decent year, and I like Al Saunders a lot. Al Saunders, uh, I thought, was going to play to Jason Campbell's weaknesses, I mean strengths, and hide his weaknesses. And he was sure able to do that Monday night against the Broncos. Um, turnovers. Uh, Orton had the interception right before halftime. Gave uh, Seabass, uh, Janikowski, um, the 63-yard field goal to tie the record with Elam and Dempsey. Um, Congratulations to him on that. Kind of hated seeing it, especially against us. Um, I'll come back to that interception. It wasn't a good one. Um, then he also had that big fumble uh, late in the game when it looked like Denver was going to go and take a 20-16 to 16 lead. Um, big fumble. Um, Oakland turned around the very next play and um, gashed our Denver's defense uh, for a long run think the Denver's defense kind of took a kind of had a lap uh, lapse in concentration on that play and then uh, they were probably thinking about the fumble their mind just wasn't in there um, weren't able to stop the run all day thought we did better in the second half except for that one long run play uh, we outscored Oakland 17 to 7 in the second half too bad we couldn't do a little bit more of that in the first half and uh, We'll, we'll keep going on. Speaking of turnovers, um, we got a uh, turnover after Oakland's very first play of line of scrimmage. We had the ball first and 10 at the five yard line. Um, different season, same old story basically. Uh, couldn't score in the red zone. Uh, had to go to a field goal. Really would have liked to have gotten seven and gotten on top early there, but it did not happen. Um, we also missed a field goal, a long field goal, which puts them in good field position. It's almost kind of like a turnover. I know we fumbled, um, uh, another time, um, uh, in the game. Uh, so turnovers really hurt us. Uh, we were minus two in the turnover department. So that was a big part of the game. Um, stat-wise, Oakland... Had 99 yards passing, did all right in the pass defense. Um, 99 yards ain't too bad. I think he only had like 22 attempts, completed 13 passes. Um, part of that's because they were able to run the ball. I do not understand why against the Oakland Raiders, you do not sell out on the run and make Jason Campbell throw the ball on you, especially with our de defensive backfield. Uh, that was going to be my pre-game video analysis that I was going to do. Didn't have time to get to it. That's what I thought we were going to do. It didn't work out that way. Um, I would have sold out on the run and let Jason Campbell beat us. See what could have happened there. If we would have done that, maybe the turnover story could have been different. Um, they had 190 yards rushing. The long run kind of padded that stat a little bit, but we still weren't able to uh, stop the run. Uh, you see that they had 39 yards for a 4.9 yard average. 
Um, they were able to control the clock that way. Um, same, a different story, or a different year, same old story. We couldn't stop the run. Different year, same old story. We couldn't run the ball. 38 yards rushing. Uh, wasn't able to really get it going. Like the John Fox's uh, post game press conference, they asked him if he abandoned the run. He was like, no, we could have kept running the ball for our 1.9 yard average, but we just decided not to. And that was a good call because we were able to move the ball a lot better when uh, we started passing the ball more. Some people always bring up, you got to run the ball to open up the pass. Same time, you can pass the ball to open up the run. Oakland's front seven is a very good front seven, and uh, they were able to stop our run. So we had to go, we had to throw the ball. It was a good uh, halftime adjustment. Um, 100, or 272 yards passing uh, for Orton. Had the big interception uh, right before halftime that I brought up. Put, gave Oakland an extra three points on the board before they go in and went into the half. And then uh, after the Eric Decker run, our defense held. Nice uh, punt return by Eric Decker. I didn't even really bring that up in the first uh, video. Been high on Eric Decker ever since we drafted him. Um, nice to see he was returning in kicks. I thought for a while maybe Eddie Royal would be back there. But Eddie Decker did a pretty good job on that run back. Uh, kept us in the game. Defense held. We had a chance to go and take the uh, 20 to 16 lead, and uh, the ball just slips out of Orton's hands. It was a mistake. I hate to see it happen. Um, ball was wet. Uh, it just really sucked. Came out at a really terrible time. And then I, like I said, uh, the very next play, I believe it was McFadden ran down the field all the way. To the one or two, or who knows? It could might should have been a touchdown anyways. They ended up going ahead and scoring that touchdown, and uh, eventually put the game kind of out of reach. Even though we still could have had a chance if we could have stopped them there at the end of the game to have gotten the ball back and tied it. But that was pretty much the the plays of the game were those two: the fumble and the uh, big run. Yeah, you just got to think the defense was not thinking defensively um would have been nice for a defense to have been like all right they fumbled we'll get the ball back and then we'll go down and score this time and um it was just a lack of concentration and uh it was the difference of the game um let's go through here they were able their front seven not only stopped a run sacked orton five times our front seven did not stop the run and only sacked campbell once um after the preseason when we were looking really good on our pass rush um we were off balance just basically off balance al saunders called a very good game i respect him a lot as their offensive coordinator and uh my hats off to al saunders he he called a very good uh ball game for the raiders and like as i said he played to campbell's strengths didn't throw the ball downfield a lot of crossing patterns um, across the middle, just short little crossing patterns um, against linebackers, and it was a good. He, he called it. He called a good game. Um, let's see where I want to go next. Talk about Orton and Tebow because it's been on the national news. Um, people are talking about should Tebow be in after one game? No, he shouldn't. Uh, T or Orton has won the job in the preseason. Um, I believe he gets the first four games. Um, teams split up the league, the uh, season and quarters. The first four games, I believe, are definitely Orton's. If he doesn't have a win, I think we should win the next two games. If he doesn't win both of those games, only wins one, or depends on how he looks, then I think after the first quarter of the season, we reevaluate then. Um, heard Rome, a couple of national people was like, well, Tebow's not even second string, he's third string. I don't know if I'm the only person in the world that watched the preseason and thought Tebow did pretty darn good. I think people just like to pile on the poor guy. 
Um, he had a decent preseason. Uh, sure, they moved up. Kyle Brady, or Brady Quinn, sorry, uh, to the second string to see what he could do after the first preseason game. I believe that even though they say Tebow is listed as the third string quarterback, if if he really is, that scares me that you really think that Brady Quinn is better than Tom T or Tim Tebow. Um, there's that that really scares me if that's if that's really how things are. I don't think that's how things are. I think Tebow's going to be a really good quarterback for us. I think that people are riding him a little bit too hard. He had a good preseason. He looked really good against the Cowboys. I think throughout the whole preseason, his quarterback rating was 108 or something like that is what I heard on the radio. Uh, heard somebody say on one of the news things while I was listening yesterday. Uh, what can the guy do? What can the guy do? The interception that uh, Orton threw at, before the end of the half, people always get on t Tim Tebow saying that he doesn't look at other receivers, doesn't look off, look off his progressions. Kyle Orton knew where he was throwing that ball. As soon as he got the ball in his hands, I don't even know if he looked over there. Just threw the ball to Lloyd and it was picked off and then they got three more points before halftime. Uh, we're going to dog Tebow and stuff like that. Let's dog Orton on the same thing too. Everybody's want to ride on the fumble because the fumble was really big, but that was a crappy, crappy quarterbacking play there too. Um, saying all that, Orton is our starter and he should be our starter for at least the fourth game of the season, I say. Uh, we hung in the game, even though we were outplayed and we were outcoached. Uh, we hung in the game. We had a chance to win it. Uh, it's not a game that I'd say that we should have won, but it was definitely a game that we could have won. And uh, it's just another uh, or Tuesday, I guess, where you say shoulda, couldas, and wouldas. Um, would it change the game? I hate saying that, um, but it, it is. Um, they outplayed us. They outcoached us. Uh, we hung in the game, had a chance to win it. I think that's part of Coach Fox's uh, coaching style. So um, that's all, all right. Um, Mike and Scott, listened to them a little bit yesterday. I really disliked their radio show. But it's the only radio show I can listen to while I'm at work and actually hear some Denver Bronco talk no matter how stupid I believe that they kind of are. Even when they're not talking Broncos, it's not a very good talk radio show. If anybody wants to listen, and I hope Mike and Scott gets this message, listen to 810 uh, from 10 to 2. That's uh, our time. 9 to 1, your guys' time, I guess. And listen to Saran Petro. The guy is the best freaking sports talk radio show person it is. He's got stats. He knows his knowledge. He talks about more than one thing. Last week I heard him for an hour. Mike wasn't there. He's the one that I don't like a lot. Talk about what's the rule? What's the rule, man? Something come and impress you. Talk an hour about bull riding. Just stupid, stupid crap. Of what's not sports? It was just time filler time filler throughout the whole thing i'm going over i got a minute 30 something i just really don't like their show they said that we suck uh we played another bad team i disagree with that i think oakland and denver are both going to be second in the afc west round about second third we'll probably come down to a tiebreaker system we lost uh last monday i really wish we didn't but i had a splitting with uh oakland before the season started and we still can there's nothing that scared me about oakland that uh, I don't think can be fixed. Um, penalties was another big thing. Um, hate to see cheap, just penalties. Penalties are drive killers, turnovers. Uh, we were third and long all day. Third and long all day. Part of that was penalties. Part of that was the lack of run game. Um, can't win games like that. Long story short, it was a game we could have won. We didn't. Um, going really fast talk uh, this video is going longer than the first one I did really fast talk about what I think uh, next week's game against Cincinnati I think that they'll do a lot of what Oakland did until we can stop it uh, try to run the ball as long as you can throw the crossing patterns uh, try to get matchups against our linebackers and pass coverage and see what you can do I'm out uh, see you later